Hey, it's Hillary from My Scraps. Today I am sharing um, a little tip to help you avoid summer slump. Do you know what summer slump is? Summer slump is the two months of learning that your kids can lose um, over summer break. Can you believe it? Two months after all that time and effort that they put in during the year? So anyway, we're already set up on a pretty good um, reading program for the summer. And both my kids also get summer packets sent home from school that uh, help them with reading and math. So that's in our summer schedule already. But we had the opportunity to review these bedtime math books. And I thought I would share with you because these are super cute. And they're set up with, let's see. A little story right here and then math problems and they're divided into wee ones little ones little kids and big kids so um, depending on where your child's at these are the ones that you can work on and just in case you are not a math genius yourself see you answers nice and tiny and upside down so look at how fun these are are you ready stretching the truth even if you aren't afraid of heights, walking on a really high bridge can give you a scare. If that isn't enough of a thrill, you can take a long elastic cord called a bungee, hook one end to the bridge, hook the other end to yourself, and jump. You then fall at a frightening speed until the bungee stretches enough to pull on you, at which point you get yanked back up at full speed toward the sky. Then you slow down, stop in midair, and fall again. Let's just say, if you're going to measure your own bungee cord for this, you'd better do the math right. Isn't that a fun little story? Teaches your kids something. Now the math part. So for wee ones, if you fall for five seconds before the bungee stops you, then you shoot upward for four seconds, how many seconds have you gone flying so far? For little kids, if the bungee cord is 13 feet long, and can stretch to twice that length while holding your weight, how long will it be at full stretch? And for big kids, if you're bungee jumping off a hundred foot high bridge and your bungee starts at 37 feet long, how many more feet can it stretch without letting you smack into the ground? Important answer is all of them, right? Something to think about? Did you get the answers right? So if you want to find out a little bit more about these books, there's a post on the blog at hackscrap.com, and there's also an affiliate link. Thank you for clicking it. And if you do, you can get copies of the books for yourself for this summer and help your kids avoid that nasty summer slump. So keep learning and have a great summer.